Hi guys, today with me is Savvy and today we'll be covering a new program which is information technology and solutions. So Savvy will discuss about how he went through this program and will share his experience. So hi Savvy, uh, how are you doing today? Hi Pratik, I'm doing good. I yes. hope you're all doing good. Yes, yes. So Savvy, tell me, uh, why did you choose Humber? Well, first of all, it is one of the known colleges in Ontario. So majorly people also strike towards, okay, we need to go towards Ontario near Toronto. So amongst the best colleges like Seneca, Centennial, Humber, this is one of the best colleges we can go for it. And definitely after, even after coming over here, I realized that it was a good choice when I came over here. And we, get, we got a lot of resources inside. And um, it was one of the well-known colleges that was major priority, which I gave. Mm -hmm. So why did you choose information technology program? Do you had any other options with you? Yeah. Um, well, first of all, information technology solutions this is a post-grad program. Like there are a lot of other post-grad programs as well, but uh, this is a post-grad program which is of two years, which covers a lot of things like people who come internationally, they require two years of education to get three years of work permit. So what people lack in that is that people come over here and then uh, first they have already chosen a one-year program, which may even be useful. That I'm not saying even that's not useful. So after one year, they need to continue their education. They need to find some other type of program. They need to go to other college or maybe in this college itself, they need to reapply. So for an international student, this becomes the best course that you come over here. It's a two year postgraduate program. As soon as you finish, you get three year work permit. Apart from that, coming to information technology solutions as a course. Um, first, one or two semesters uh, would be a little theoretical, would be little basics of programming, which we, you would have already done back home. Uh, after that, when it comes to the third and fourth semester, that is actually quite closely related to industry. So you will be going through a lot of projects, a lot of software development courses, which will be really very closely related to the industry. Yeah, so uh, since you mentioned about the projects, do you want to brief about how could be the assignment would be? Well, uh, most of the assignments over here, unlike back home, would be practical. It won't be like you have to complete a document, a Word document or something like that. Most of them would be practical. You will be going through hands-on in each and every courses, whether it's website development, whether it's backend development, database development, be it server side, anything. There are a lot of variety of options you get in this. Go through the course structure properly, decide what you want to do. and. Uh, Everything will be practical and of course the professors are also good, they're going to teach you practically. Mm -hmm. um, since you mentioned about the developments, I wanted to know if I don't have any software experience. It still suits me? Honestly, you can come over here. It might be a little difficult task for you to do all the courses. You might uh, end up doing up more of database development courses that won't require much of the backend, ex uh, much of the experience of software development. You can always go on in that track. Uh, however, if you are coming up, coming with a computer background, having a software experience, that will give you a much upper hand. But it, I'm, I'm not saying that it's, it is impossible, but a uh, little bit of knowledge of some object oriented programming, some basic knowledge would be really helpful to you. Mm -hmm. So how, uh, so what would be the next, like if, uh, do you want to talk about the more professor? Well, uh, professors, uh, there are a lot of uh, experienced professors as well in our, in our college. Like they are doing their jobs and along with the job they uh, teach as well. So this gives us a hands on like what's going on in the industry, what's the, what are the new projects, new technologies coming on. That's a pretty useful thing that they are working in the industry as well. But there are a lot of full-time professors as well. They are pretty good when teaching their professional, how they want to teach and how, how they want the students to give out their results practically, not just theoretically, practically as well. Mm -hmm. So since you're an international student, how did you manage this program as well as your personal lifestyle? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. So honestly, when you come over here as a new student, it's gonna be really tough. 
honestly telling you, this is going to be really tough. You're going to find some part-time job. I, I did part-time job at Walmart. Walmart. So you're going to find some part-time job. You have to collect some money. It depends on your background, definitely. So uh, I used to work three nights. So those were like Saturday, Sunday night. And then sometimes I used to do like Friday night. Uh, so try to make your schedule in a way that you get a little bit more days open. And uh, some of the days are very congested in classes, but you get more days open. And you have to balance out in a way that you can work as well as study. So don't give priority to the work too much, but uh, priority is your studies. You're going to make money for sure. When you're in Canada, you're going to make money later, today or tomorrow, anytime. You're going to make money. But uh, concentrate on your studies as well. So over here, work-life balance you have to make. Starting will be difficult, honestly. Just don't get disheartened. Starting will be difficult. But once you get used to it, you'll, you'll be liking Canada and the culture. Yes, I just wanted to clarify the Walmart is a kind of big grocery store where you find everything fruits and vegetables and everything and maybe clothing options too so yeah um yes yeah, so let's move forward uh, after completing this program um what do, what do you think about the scope do you have any platform to showcase your work or do you uh, do, what's the job opportunity or job market and that's a very important question uh, i also didn't know when i came over here so most of the coaches when you go apart from this course to other colleges as well, they, they provide something like a co-op. Our courses also, our professors are also planning to give something like co-op. However, instead of co-op, we get an option in the final semester that's a capstone project. In this capstone project, we, we try to find the companies. These companies, uh, they, we do a project, like we form a group. I was a group of three. I was in a group of three. We form a group and we do a project for a company that is completely an industrial project. And uh, this gives us an head start towards the industry and you can always showcase your, uh, your project everywhere. And there is one Humber Expo as well, Capstone Expo, where you can showcase and uh, write down in your resume, okay, this is the industry project you did in your final semester. And most of the time, even the companies hire you. Um, so I am supposingly that you might have completed up till now, right? If I'm not wrong, as far as I know. Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. Uh, recently only we have completed, we are finishing our presentation to uh, put it on Capstone Expo. So mm -hmm. after we put this thing to be not nominated in Capstone Expo, you will be able to see these on website, Humper website itself. Mm -hmm. You can even now check the previous year students. So uh, right now we're putting inside, they're going to take some time to decide which are the top five or maybe top ten, I don't remember the exact number. So once it is selected, it's going to be displayed on uh, our college. Um, yes, uh, that, that was a really good uh, information, piece of information. I just wanted to know that it was paid or it was in turn kind of volunteer work? It, it is not paid. It is part of our course program. And uh, our sponsor, which are the companies, they can even ask you not to share the code or your final project, there may be like, uh, there would be some private information of the company. So you have to discuss with the company, what all can you share with the college? However, they, their review will give you the marks on, uh, on your project. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Cool. Do you think, uh, I think so we should, uh, we had covered a lot of topics. Do you think uh, if I'm missing something, well, a uh, lot of things we have covered, definitely. I cannot think of anything. Yes, uh, Humber College, right now it's going online. Uh, let's talk about a little bit of infrastructure. Humber College is one of the best colleges you can have over here. If it is not online, awesome parties, awesome summer, awesome people around over here, a lot of things to go explore. You will have a lot of uh, affairs in, in the college itself. It's an awesome place to be in. I see. Yeah, so thank you, Savvy, for sharing this piece of information and also to the viewers. Um, uh, please comment, uh, in, uh, please give me the feedback. What kind of questions should I ask and will be beneficial for you guys? Please mention in the comments. So I'll try to incorporate those questions too, because right now it's a set of line I'm going through which I think uh, uh, it covers the holistic view of program. But in case if you guys wanted to add some, uh, some kind of questions, please let me know. I'll definitely uh, feel free to ask and then I'll ask the viewers too. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you so much, Pratik, for having me here. And to all the viewers, it's a great channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks, Avi. I'll see you soon, though. Thanks for sharing.